What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, I would like to say welcome. And if you guys could, I would really, really appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you smash that like button. And like I told you in my previous video, my KD Nerfs video, I'm coming with that early heat and today we have another early look, first look, whatever you want to call it, at a banger sneaker set to come out May 4th, 2024 for a retail price of $215. Now we've seen this sneaker release in 1989, then retro in 2006, retro in 2012, and now we're finally getting its fourth iteration in 2024. So I'm super excited to have this shoe in studio and get the review out for you guys because I used to have this pair back in my high school days. I had the 2006 retro, but that pair was extremely beat i tried to repaint it and save it a whole bunch of times and eventually i just had to throw it away because the midsole was crumbling the paint wasn't matching so i'm hoping that jordan brand made it similar to the 2006 pair because i love that air jordan 4 and uh, if you guys don't know by now we are talking about the air jordan 4 military blue or as jump man calling it now the industrial blue Ooh, oh wait okay so first look first look I didn't know if this was going to be how it was in person. Everybody is saying that the blue is darker. And yes, I can confirm from having the 2006 pair and seeing that 2012 pair, the blue is a lot darker. The blue is a lot darker. So I'm wondering if that's why they went with industrial blue instead of military blue. Now I know some people are talking about they don't want to be military blue because they don't want to be associated with war, this, that, and the third. But they might have changed it to industrial blue just because they use a different shade of blue on this Air Jordan 4, but ooh. Now the previous release was in 2012, and like I said, we had a 2006, and then in 1989 was the OG pair. If I make any mistakes, correct me down in the comment section down below, but I'm pretty sure that is correct, but ooh, okay. So first initial thoughts, like I said, the blue is a lot darker than uh, my 2006 pair. We have this beautiful suede on the toe box. The suede feels really nice, wow. Jordan brand, that's a, that, that, you guys are getting pluses for that one, this suede, feels amazing. I'm actually pretty surprised because I've been seeing people saying that the material on here isn't that good, but this suede in that toe box feels really good. Now I'm just looking for imperfections and uh, factory flaws and this pair looks pretty good right here. We have the laces, this tongue is beautiful. So now we know that in 2023, we saw the release of the pine green SB4s and similar color blocking, but wow, I love this tongue. Now this tongue is super similar to the SB Pine Green 4. Uh, it's a little bit more padded than the normal Air Jordan 4 tongue. I like that. I love that Jordan Brand is making the upgrades and additions to the sneaker to make them better and more wearable. So let me grab the other shoe out and let me check this one, see any factory flaws. Okay, so we do have some scuffing right here on the suede portion, if you can see that right there. There is some suede damage right there, but nothing too crazy. Uh, a little bit of a widow's peak going up on the suede. But overall, damn. For the amount of pairs that are rumored to be coming out for this shoe, uh, Jordan Brand did their thing. So the rumored stock number for these pairs is about a million pairs. So it should be fairly easy to cop this shoe. And the way I was able to acquire this shoe was from my brother-in-law. He was able to hit on the shock drop a couple days ago. And they sent out the pairs really quick. So Jordan Brand was on it this time. They had the pairs ready to go. They weren't waiting a long time. And um, it's almost three weeks early. So this review is coming to you three weeks early. So this will be my first thoughts and opinions, letting you know whether it's worth the resale, whether it's worth the hype. And honestly, looking at it right here, this shoe is amazing. This shoe is beautiful. And definitely since Jordan Brand is releasing so many pairs, the resale shouldn't be too high on this. Right now, pairs are sitting anywhere between like 350 to 400, depending on your size, but that is three weeks early. Once we see the drop, I'm guessing pairs will probably be sitting anywhere between 250 to 300, depending on your size, just like the Bread 4 Reimagined. Um, this sneaker is amazing. Nike Air on the back tab. You already know sneakerheads love the little details in Nike Air being there. Ooh, I was honestly not expecting to like this shoe as much as I do. Now to go over materials and colorway, for the uppers, it is a primarily cream leather uppers. We do have hits of this grayish cream suede going throughout the toe box. For the midsole, we have that industrial or military blue midsole with hits of white going throughout. For the outsole, it is a white and blue outsole with the Nike branding right there. Obviously, one of the most iconic details of the Air Jordan 4 is going to be the wings and this mesh. 
we have more of that cream mesh, the cream wings with the military blue hits going throughout. So for the tongue, we see more of that caging with the military blue peeking right behind it. As we make our way up to the upper of the tongue, we have a leather tongue with the Air Jordan Jumpman right there. For the sock lining, we have a cream sock lining and on the back of the tongue, it is that military blue. And my favorite detail, when we turn it around, we have that iconic Air Jordan 4 Nike tab with the Nike Air right there. And for the insole, we have a military blue insole with more Nike Air branding. Now, I don't know if it's just my lighting in my room, but the uppers, the leather uppers, kind of look like it has a blue tint to it. So I don't know if it could be picked up on camera, but for some reason, when I'm looking at these uppers, it's not so much, it does look like a cream off-white leather, but for some reason, I don't know if it's the blue reflecting off of it, but it looks like it has a blue tint to the leather upper. I don't know. I, I don't know if you guys can see that. Almost like, I know the word is popular right now, but an aura. When, when, I, when I put the shoe on the side, I kind of see a blue tint to the uppers, which is fire. If Jordan Brand did that and was able to make the uppers, the leather uppers, have a blue tint to it that gives it this cream grayish look, but at certain angles gives it a blue tint, that would be fire. Now, as far as sizing for the Air Jordan 4, me personally, I always go true to size and they always fit me perfectly. So you already know on this channel, we give every shoe a rating from one to 10. And if I had to give this shoe a rating, we haven't seen this shoe in quite some time. So there's definitely gonna be some hype around it and some nostalgia for me personally. And honestly, I'm gonna give this sneaker a 9.2 out of 10. You really can't go wrong with an OG colorway such as this. The white, the blues is a perfect summer sneaker. Availability, wearability, durability. For those three aspects, it's a 9.2 out of 10. This is a fire sneaker and I definitely do recommend going after it on May 4th. And if you guys do miss out on this release, paying the resale for an extra 50 to $75 won't be the worst thing you've done. I definitely think it's worth it and think this is an amazing shoe. And like I said, this might be a top 10 sneaker of 2024 for me. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And in the comment section down below, I would love to hear what is your favorite Air Jordan 4 colorway. And don't forget to check out your boy on Instagram and TikTok. Both of those links will be down in the description box below. And if you guys are looking to join up on the Discord, I highly recommend checking out my Discord. Top link down in the description box below. Come through and show some love as we continue to grow out the community over there. Like I was saying, this sneaker is great the materials on here is amazing colorway you can't go wrong with an og colorway this is probably going to be one of the hottest summer sneakers to get your hands on so i definitely definitely recommend you guys trying to go after this pair may 4th 2024 don't sleep on it this sneaker is fire it's been your boy tim we'll catch you guys in the next video peace